Hey guys, I want to show you a way where you can get unlimited money on Borderlands 2. There's an area that has a bunch of these ammunition chests and you can open them over and over again and it will just keep giving you a ton of money. The amount of money you're going to get each time that you open one depends on what mode you're on. We're on Ultimate Vault Hunter here so we're getting hundreds of thousands at a time and we quickly maxed out our money to the 99 million in a matter of minutes. Some people watching may already know how to do this but there's a lot of new players to Borderlands 2 because it became free to download and there's a lot of promotion going on for Borderlands 3 so Borderlands 2 is getting a lot of hype right now and for those new Borderlands players I want to show you guys how you can do this so that you can have your cash maxed out anytime you want this is a mission you can do over and over again and just go and grab some money if you need it and never finish the mission and always have it available if you go broke so I want to show you guys where this mission is and what all you need to do to unlock it and get to it. The first major event you need to complete is getting Sanctuary off the ground. Once you have it off the ground, you can go back to Sanctuary and there will be a mission on this bounty board right here. The mission is called Clan War Starting the War. Now this is not the mission that gives you the unlimited money chest. It's the mission right before that. So I wanted to show you guys what you need to complete to get the money chest mission to unlock. So this mission here, starting the clan war, is going to take you to the dust where you need to meet up with Ellie and she's going to have you go pick up a couple of items right in that vicinity. She's going to have you pick up some dynamite and then you go around the back to pick up some emblems for Hodunk and Zafford. Then she wants you to go across the way to the Hodunk Speedway where you're going to sabotage it. So you place one of the dynamites and then you shoot that tire down to break open that gate. You'll walk in and place a Zafford emblem on top of that tire, then you need to get into a vehicle and go around the corner and head towards the entrance point for the highlands. Once in the highlands you're going to place some dynamite on a distillery near the holy spirits and then blow that up and after you do that you're going to be placing a hodunk emblem. The next part of this mission is going to take you into the holy spirits where you're going to speak to someone called Mick Zafford at the bar. Once you speak to him you need to follow him underground. He's going to take you to an area that's going to open a chest and you pick up some explosives. Now you'll take the explosives to the dust and head towards the Hodunk Speedway and place the explosives on these crates. Then you wait for the race cars to drive over it and you detonate to blow them all up. Once all that's complete, you're going to head back to Ellie and turn it in. Now this mission is completely done and it will unlock the mission that does the unlimited money crates. The mission is located in the dust and if you open up your mini map and go south, you can see an exclamation point right there and if you hover over it, it says Clan War Reach the Dead Drop. When you go to collect the mission, you're going to see a guy in a wheelchair with a banjo and once you collect that it's going to send you back to the highlands and then back into the holy spirits once you reach the holy spirits you want to go across the bar up the stairs and to the left and on the ground you're going to find an echo device You'll be turning in Reach Dead Drop into this Echo device and then immediately collecting the mission for the unlimited money chest called Clan War End of the Rainbow. This is going to take you to a room downstairs next to the bar and the mission is going to change to Spot the Bagman. And you have to be really careful here because the mission will fail. So what you want to do is just hang back by this box right here and that's going to trigger the Bagman to come out of that door but you don't want him to see you so you need to watch for his marker on that mini map to get really far ahead ahead of you before you try to follow him. If you get too close to him then he will see you and the mission will fail and all you have to do is go back upstairs and trigger that echo device again and then come back down here and try it again. So you're going to carefully follow him to his cavern and once you get there you're going to be killing him and once you do kill him be careful when you get to his body because he will explode with some corrosive damage. There's going to be a mission item on the ground to pick up. It's the bagman's key and that's fine you can pick that up but you do not want to advance this mission any further further. They want you to use the key to open and exit and that's what you don't want to do because that will finish this and you won't have these unlimited money chests available whenever you want them. Now I'll show you guys how to glitch out these chests so that they give you unlimited money. The first time you come down here they're not going to give you unlimited money. There's something you need to do to trigger that. So the first thing you want to do is at least open one or two of these chests. If you don't open some of them it won't work. Whichever ones you open are the ones that are going to become unlimited. So open as many as you'd like. 
then after that, you want to backtrack and go back up to the Holy Spirit and back out the front door. The mission wants you to go a different direction, but we are backtracking to where we came from and that's what's gonna cause the glitch. Once you get outside the Holy Spirit and then go back in, it's gonna say that the mission is failed and that's what you want. Then you wanna go back upstairs, back to that Echo device and collect the mission again. Once you collect the mission, you have to do the spot the bag man part again where you got to be sneaky don't let him see you and you follow him again all the way to his cavern you will be killing him again and you can pick up the key if you'd like and now the chest that you previously opened will be opened still but now when you go to trigger them they're going to start spitting out unlimited money again we were in ultimate vault hunter mode so it was giving us hundreds of thousands of dollars at a time and we were maxed out to the 99 million pretty quickly so you can keep Keep doing this over and over again. Say you leave your game, you turn off your console or PC, whatever, and you want to come back and get more money. All you have to do is repeat this process again. You got to go in there the first time, kill him, open up a crate, backtrack, come back in, pick up the mission again, come back down here, kill him again, and then the crates that you opened will be unlimited. And you can do this forever and keep this mission available to you if you need money, as long as you don't finish any more of the mission. There are some other loot boxes that you can open down here that will give iridium and ammunition, and we tried the same glitch with those, but those don't work. You can go down there and open it and collect the item, but when you backtrack and come back, they're open and empty, and they don't spit out unlimited items like these crates do. But I hope this helped you guys out, and we'll see you next video. <laughs> awesome!